hello guys welcome and today i want to show you how you can get microsoft clarity um integrated with your nax your view nax js application so if you know clarity clarity is a kind of like a testing tool it works like cypress but it's more like a back checking um to the microsoft has so it can screen record um users activity on your website so if you have um i think if you have clarity you know that some um it's kind of like a little bit um tedious to work with um view and next so today i'm going to show you how you can get clarity on your next years so clarity is free uh, if you go to pricing it's free forever so we don't have any problem using it so the first thing you have to do is you have to sign in so i'm going to sign in with um, my email so you can use a gmail to sign in then once you're signing you can add a project so here you can add the web um the url to your project um you can name the project first so you can call this test project i already have some projects here and then you can add the url to this project so test.com so here i don't have any projects on test.com i'm just using this to test for you guys so we'll come back to this so um once you have this you can go to your um view and next application let me make this bigger okay yeah so here so you go to your your next application and then you go to it's kind of simple so this is going to be short you go to your nas config now in your nas config you're going to add this this script um line here so script you define the source clarity.js and then device is, is equal to true so remember the clarity.js file has to be in the <coughs> in the static folder it doesn't have to be don't put it in a folder maybe in the asset folder no it won't work if you put the um the clarity js file in the asset um assets folder it, it's not going to work i've tried it it, it never worked so where you need to put this clarity js file that is this file is in the static folder so here so this is going to load all static um stuff right so the js file has to also be here you can either put it in a folder called js and clarity js or you can just drop it in a static folder so mine i just dropped it in a static folder then you come in here and then add a new project so once you've added a new project um clarity is going to give you your own tracking code right so install manually so you, you click on get tracking code and then this is your script so you can see you copy this script and then you create a clarity js file like how i have created here and that's my script and then you just paste it so the only thing you have to do is that you have to remove this script tags that's the only thing you have to change you don't have to change any other thing and then you save it so you only save it you're going to have this and then um you'll be good to go so that's all you need to do on your nax application you have to do this rerun and then save but if your application is hosted on a subdomain so when you come back to so when you go back to my project let's go to test projects if your project is hosted on a subdomain don't enter the subdomain don't come and enter maybe um web dot tests dot com no you have to you have to enter the primary domain that is test.com and then wherever what whatever subdomain you are um using wherever it's going to find the clarity code is going to work so you don't have to say um use a subdomain or anything it's just the main mother domain so yeah so if you've done this it should work and then you should see your clarity open like this tracking all your bugs um your dead screens your dead clicks um recordings everything to the um to the country that you just are accessing your app form to the type of pc they are using your printing system everything it gives you every insight on how users are interacting with your application so thanks and i will see you again